In this video, we're going to talk about traditional multiplication. Some vocabulary that we should know, because in the process of this video, I might use these words. So numbers that we multiply together are called factors. Now, when we're doing things in fraction land, we use factors a lot. They tend to be really small, right? Single digits, maybe two digits. But it doesn't matter. Any numbers that are multiplied together are called factors. Now, in traditional multiplication, we'll have a couple of lines that we need to add together. Those numbers are called add-ins. And then finally, we get our answer, and that's called a product. Okay, part of math is vocabulary, frankly, and knowing what these terms are uh, is important as we move up into higher grades, tougher math, when we see words like this on tests, we need to know what they are. So here's our first example. Now we need to remember that a three-digit factor, 345, and a two-digit factor, 67, will require three multiplication facts. We will multiply six times now, if you multiply fewer than six times, you are not going to get the right answer. You are taking some sort of shortcut that's just not going to get you there. So, step one, we're going to multiply the ones digit, the seven, with the first factor. So we're going to multiply seven times 345, and we're going to do it little by little, okay? So, 7 times 5, you can follow the arrow, is 35. So, I put my 5, carried my 3. You can see, by the way, that I've completely blocked out the 6, because we don't care about the 6 right now. And if it helps to put a little eraser over it, or your finger over it, or whatever, do it. We're just focused on the 7 right now. But we're not done with the 7. We now have to multiply the 7 times the 4. So 7 times 4 is 28, and we add our carry. 28 plus 3 is 31. We still have to multiply the 7 times the 3. So 7 times 3 is 21, plus the 3 up above is 24. All right. Step 2. We're going to add a 0 to the second add-in. That's our little space saver, because we're getting ready to multiply with the 6. And we want the answer right below the 6. More importantly, I hope that you realize that it's not really 6. 67? I mean, it even tells you how much it is when you say the number. It's really 60, and 60 has a 0 in it. So there's your 0. So you got to make sure you put that 0. If you don't, you're not going to get the right answer. Your numbers will be stacked incorrectly. And when you add them, you'll get a totally different answer. Okay? Let's cover everything. Now, you may not have enough little erasers to do this. That's okay. But for our purposes, I just want to get that out of the way so that we can focus just on the numbers that we are multiplying. So step three, multiply the tens digit, that's the six, with the first factor. So we're going to multiply the six with the five, the six with the four, and the six with the three. Okay? So 6 times 5 is 30, put my 0, I carry my 3 above the 4. Now we're going to multiply 6 times 4. 6 times 4 is 24, plus the 3 is 27. I put my 7 next to the 0, I carry the 2. 6 times 3 is 18, plus the 2 that's uh, been carried, that'll give you 20. We have multiplied 6 times. Just like I mentioned at the beginning of this problem. We multiplied the 7 three times, and we multiplied the 6 three times. Step 4, add your add-ins. Easy peasy. Right? That last step should be nice and easy as long as you make sure not to make any addition errors. You gotta, you still got to be careful even though it's addition. So, let me put those arrows back in, and let me point out to you that here's where the seven steps total come from. First, we multiply seven times the five, the four, and the three. That's three steps. And you can see my arrows. 
Then we multiplied the 6 times the 5, the 4, and the 3. That's another 3 steps. That's 6 multiplication facts that we just did. And then your 7th step is adding your two add-ins together. Seven steps to a long multiplication problem, a traditional multiplication problem. You can't take shortcuts. So multiply the ones digit with your first factor. Make sure to add that zero. Multiply your tens digit with the first factor. And then add your add-ins together.